Last time on Babs Bear Talk. Got another one? <clears throat> Five on a nine? Okay, Joe is waiting with me in the room. They are testing my urine. I guess they're making sure it's not kidney um, infection. But I haven't seen the... Um, I don't know if the person's an NP or a PA or whatever. It's not a doctor though. They said Miss, Miss Dale. I haven't seen her yet. Joe always looks like he's sleeping. <laughs> Joe likes to walk through here when we come to Kaiser because he thinks it's so pretty. It feels kind of rainforesty, right, Joe? He thinks it's so pretty. He goes, let's walk through the um, the quad area. Yay! I'm really glad that I came and I'm really glad that I got a physician's assistant you know my doctor having that emergency was actually a blessing in disguise because whenever you get these physicians assistant they're so thorough so I was able to ask her a lot of things that's not even pertaining to what I came for you know things that I wanted to ask but didn't want to make an appointment to just come in and do that um, <clears throat> the real reason that I came wasn't because um, the pain got worse it's just because I saw that they were getting ready to vote on Obamacare or affordable health care. And if I lose my coverage, I'm up the creek without a paddle. So um, the physician's assistant told me that the ultrasound that they did last year on me, which was in April, showed that I had two small polyps in my gallbladder. There were no stones, but two polyps, and they just wanted to monitor them and do another ultrasound in a year, which is April. So I guess that would have been coming up soon on my little thing that they send you in the email. And she says, because I'm symptomat symptomatic, then she wants to go ahead and do the ultrasound now. So they'll call me in a couple of days, or maybe even tomorrow, to go in and get the ultrasound done. And if they have grown in size, then they're gonna talk about taking out the polyps. I was like, can the, can can they take out those polyps by by anything other than surgery? And then she's all like, well, she said something about them doing something ultrasound wise or laser or so I don't know what she said, but whatever she said, it's like they will try every less invasive met method first especially being that i have pseudocolonesterase deficiency and that makes me have issues with anesthesia and a whole host of other drugs you know so i don't want to stop breathing i told her i don't want to end up like bill paxton he was scared and now he's dead i don't want to end up like my mom she was scared and now she's dead and then she was laughing she was such a sweet lady and Joe kept throwing me under the bus with her and she would just stop and laugh. And then I threw Joe under the bus with her and I said, he's the kind of patient that's horrible where you'll give him the drugs to take for 10 days, he'll take it one day and quit and say it didn't work. I said, at least me, I'll follow the rules. So this flare up did start after I uh, went to go eat the thing at San Manuel, the, the buffet. And she says the shrimp wouldn't do it, nor the chicken, but it, the beef would have done it. And I did eat some of the beef. I didn't eat a lot of it, but I ate some of the beef. And she told me to stay away from a lot of roughage, which you guys know, the roughage has been messing me up. That's why I blend everything. <clears throat> so oatmeal messes me up. She says, stay away from broccoli and cauliflower. And I say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I don't have to eat that mess. I haven't eaten that in over a year because I notice it messes me up. And um, stay away from corn. <laughs> Y'all know I love corn. Stay away from fried foods. Y'all know I ate that panucho. No, I didn't eat that panucho. I ate that one bite and Joshua came and snatched my panucho and I was kind of mad about it, but I'm kind of glad now that he ate it. But I did eat those salbutas that one day, what, 10 days ago when I made that for the show. So no fried foods, no heavy gravies. I don't do stuff with heavy gravies. Ooh, let me shut up. Let me shut up. I had heavy gravy when I went to Puyo Loco and I had that mashed potato. <laughs> I wanted to drink that gravy from a cup. You guys, you guys, I'm the reason why I'm sick. I have those stupid polyps and I just made it flare up with all the crap I'm eating. I gotta quit. And then she says, I do have something going on with my muscle stool. You know why that is? Because I'm vlogging, holding the camera up. I'm, I'm gonna put the, the camera on my little selfie stick and stop hurting myself. So it is like two different things going on. Some muscle intertwined along with some type of gall issue. So Sam, my buddy, thank you for sending me to the doctor. All of you that told me to go to the doctor, thank you. And my baby daddy over here that kept on saying, why you don't go to the doctor? Why you don't go before they take it away? What? <laughs> Sugar daddy, 
Oh Lord, I got the pretty ass today. <laughs> Thank you for taking me, babe. Yeah, Thank you for taking me. It'll be all right. I'm not scared. We're heading to the post office again today. Remember, I didn't mail away anything yesterday because that line was too long and only one person was working. So hopefully it's short today. Um, I googled everything I needed to Google and I called my health food guy Joe and I'm on the right path with what I need to do. He wants me to take lemon and water every two hours and a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil every two hours. My dad would rather I take this macadamia nut oil that he just gave me. Whatever, we're going to take some oil. If it has to be coconut oil, I don't care. And he also wants me to do the turmeric. But, ugh, they want you to put a teaspoon of the turmeric in warm milk. Ugh, the worstest thing for me is warm milk. I like cold milk. So I'm going to take the turmeric capsules. And then they also want me to drink ginger tea three times a day. And all these things are anti-inflammatories. And that's supposed to take down the swelling or the inflammation of whatever. And, and also get rid of the polyps. Joe, my other Joe, has this thing that's called fluorescence that I'm supposed to do twice a year, kind of like a cleanse. And I didn't do it. Ah, I didn't do it last year and I didn't do it yet this year because it's expensive. It's like 69 bucks. I have to wait to get paid from Google to do that. But I remember, I have grip on my teeth. I remember I did it when I had some, um, well, some questionable things. It ended, ended up being some little cysts or whatever, but some questionable things inside my right breast a few years ago and they wanted to do biopsy and a whole bunch of crap and I asked them to give me two weeks and I did that fluorescence and when I went back that stuff was gone and they never saw anything again thank you Jesus so he's like you know you know polyps and cysts they're all the same breed of dog get on in here get your fluorescence drink that sucker for two weeks follow the you know the guide as what as to what you're supposed to do no sugar no this kind of like the Daniel fast all over again and um, shrink those polyps and let's get this going I wish I knew last year maybe they haven't even grown maybe I just have a flare because I went to the casino and I ate all that meat and of course I sat down and started to think about what I ate last week and if you guys will remember I had some potato with my gravy last week when I went to Boya Loco so I'm like oh god I did this to me I did this to me guys so I'm gonna fix it though watch me and I'm the kind of person where I'll do all the natural things and change my eating and everything but I'll also do what the doctor says too I don't play I don't talk about oh I'm not gonna do what the doctor said because yeah it no I'm gonna do what she says too so um, I'm starting with some strawberries <laughs> to the post office guys I must go, but I'll leave you the key. If I'm in about fifteen thousand dollars, yeah. Tops. For three hundred and eighty thousand, it's like five grand. Mm -hmm. So about that, <clears throat> well, close to fifteen thousand. Like the paper house. Me and George trying to figure out the uh, property taxes on like a million dollar home. So as we were leaving the hospital just now, um, Ermine left too. I ran into um, Louise's granddaughter, Jessica. Remember Louise that passed away last year on mommy's birthday? My good friend, Jada's second grandma. Jessica says grandpa's in the hospital and he's in room 2311 and Osley's in room 2307. And so I told her tomorrow we'll pop in and, and visit grandpa. But he's out of it too. He's got pneumonia in both lungs. He's on some type of machine, I don't know. You know, Ron wants to die. Ron says it over and over again. I want to go with Louise. I want to go with Louise. So, <clears throat> March 24th is gonna make a year since Louise left us. Today makes nine months since mommy left us. Nine months. So, you guys know when you hit a year, it's gonna be rough, right? See what I'm saying? Uh huh. It's that love don't live here no it's more. It's not love don't live here no more. It's love don't live here no more. You don't say love don't live here no love. more. <laughs> <laughs> um, we met an old man before and he was saying about some Belizean woman that loved him. He was a black American guy. And she said, he said, love? He, then, then he told you, love don't live here no more. <laughs> <laughs> 
So guys, it was a good day. It was a beautiful visit with Osley. Uh, he was very talkative today, which was a far different cry than yesterday because yesterday was very depressing for all of us. And I told you guys on the vlog that I don't know what to tell you about yesterday. And Ermin went home very depressed. But today, when we got there, he was talkative. He recognized Joe right away. There were a couple of people from his church visiting. He didn't quite recognize them, but he watched them. And then his friend Alan came. Alan is this big burly Jamaican guy and he's got the deepest raspiest voice with a Jamaican accent so it's very distinctive if you hear him down the hallway you're gonna know who he is and when he says Asle and Asle just came alive because he used to go work a lot with Alan you know with the cabinet making thing because Alan, Alan has a lot of properties and so he used to go work a lot with him and so he's like, let's go, we have some work. And Ozzy was like, okay, okay. And then he says, let's go to Palm Springs. And he goes, okay, we're gonna to go to Palm Springs. And he was like full sentences. And he knew Joe's name, he called my name. Um, I told him that the nurse was very pretty. And I was trying to tell her the nurse's name. And then he's like, I see pretty girls. And then Joe says, let's fight. And he put up his, Joe says, put up your fist. Cause the doctor wanted him to do that. He put up his fist and he goes, we're gonna fight. And then he says, I see the fights all the time. You know, so he was like making sentences, opening his eyes, watching us very vocal today, which was a far different cry than yesterday. So we're very hopeful. We're gonna continue the prayers. It's so funny. Like I always tell you guys, um, success is very motivating. So, you know, even if you're trying to lose weight and you lose half a pound, that's very motivating to continue on your diet, right? Well, it's the same way when you go to Osley. It was getting very depressing. You know, especially yesterday when he just seemed to slip deeper and deeper in slumber and today when we went in there and he was so talkative and, and responsive we're like very motivated again and we even clapped when he did the fist and then for that for the rest of the evening all he did was the fist he did the fist he did the fist <laughs> So I told Ermin, I'm going to teach him how to do the finger so he can give that to the ex-wife when she comes. Ermin's like, I'm rubbing off on you. You're bad. You're bad. So, you guys, I solicit your prayers with what I'm going through with these pull-ups. I'm going to work hard on making sure these pull-ups shrink and disintegrate using all the natural resources God has available for me. And if I go back for the results and they say they've grown and they want to take them out, I'm going to let them take them out, okay? I'm not going to play no foolish games. But in the meantime, we know that prayer changes things. So as I pray for you guys, you you pray for me. I don't have any pain right now. I'm doing good because I'm not eating all, any of the fatty stuff. You guys know what I have to stay away from, right? And Sam, I'm glad you kicked my butt so I could go in. And, and Joe did too. He's always like, let's go in, let's go in. While we still have the coverage, let's go in. You know, I stockpile my medication because I don't want to lose my coverage. And then I'm out there in the wind again like I was from 08 to 2014. I pray to God they can't overturn Obamacare. I really pray. When people ask me, what are you so afraid of with Trump being in? This is what I'm afraid of. I don't want them to repeal it, guys. So anyways, it's a good day today. We're almost home. And I'm going to go find something sensible to eat. And then I'm going to go edit this one for you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow evening, okay? I love you guys a whole lot. And uh, I want to give a shout out to a couple of people today. Sharon. Sharon, my love, today makes one month since you blessed us with that visit to Jerry. Thank you so much. I was thinking about that all day today. And I also want to say that, uh, hi to Julie. Julie from Weeby. Julie, user's name is Weeby. Hi, Julie. How are you doing, my love? Um, getting better every day, I hope. And, oh, Joe's better too. Joe, your cough is gone, right? Mm -hmm. I'm coming pretty good now. Yeah, and um, there was somebody else that said hey to me. Tracy Martin. Tracy Martin. I want to give you a shout out. Thank you so much for watching my cooking channel and my vlogs and for all the support and love that you guys send my way. Okay? So I'm going to check again to see, make sure I'm not forgetting anybody because we're a little family here. We're praying us through our different ordeals. We all have issues that we're dealing with and we know that prayer changes things and we're going to continue to pray for each other as we get through whatever we're going through in life. All right? So I'll see you guys tomorrow night because we're almost home and I'm going to go eat something. Bye-bye. When the red button is on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. See, I'm doing it.